Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and today I have a DIY for you. It is going to be an overhead cell phone mount so you can record straight down onto your work surface. Now if that's something that interests you, stick around because we're gonna go over everything that you need. And my drink right now is some Dollar Tree Mandarin Orange Water. It's not Dollar Tree brand, I can't remember the brand. Anyway, so right now we're gonna go over the list of supplies and then I'm gonna show you how easy this is to put together. Okay, and I have my little list here written down, but it will also be in the drop down menu below and all the cut sizes. So you're gonna need one 10 foot PVC pipe, half inch, just a standard, I used white. I feel like they have them in black, but they were like way more expensive. Do not ask me what the difference is. I have no idea. I just know I needed a 10 foot PVC pipe. So I got it. Oh, and before we get moving too far, I just want to be very clear. This is not my unique idea. I did not create this. I did not come up with all this. I found several posts on Pinterest and a video on YouTube and thought I would show you how easy it is to make, but this is not my unique idea. Okay, so one 10 foot pole, we're gonna cut down to the sizes. You're going to need two T's, half inch. Everything is half inch, non-threaded. So there's no threads in here. It's all smooth, because it's gonna slide on and off. So you need two of those, two, three. Three of these, I lied. You'll need three of the T's. You'll need three of the elbows. Um, I think I lied again. You'll need, I don't know. You'll need three elbows. <laughs> I'm a mess guys. Three T's and three elbows. Yes. Two or three. We'll see when we put it together, but I know you need three elbows. Half inch, non-threaded. Two caps. And this is simply what it is. It's just a cap. It'll slide on the end. It's just for aesthetics. You don't have to have them. But all of this costs less than $10. You will need a drill or some way to drill a hole in your T-pipe. You will need a cell phone mount of some variety. This is the one that I like. I ordered this on Amazon. It came in two packs and it was called cell phone mount made in China. Um, I like this one. It's very sturdy, you can turn your phone either direction with one loose screw here and one screw up here, raises and closes your clamp so it's not on a mount, it's not on a spring. It just works the best for what I like. You do you, or you may have something at home already. Here's a spare that I have. This one comes on that spring. I just find that with my phone, I have the iPhone 12 Pro, but I also had a Samsung Galaxy 9 and with a case, these just don't fit. And I did not want to deal with popping my phone in and out. You can also use this mount for your camera. You would just have to get some type of a mount for your camera that has the screw hole in the bottom. Then I bought some, a screw and wing nuts. Now I just bought in a little bag. I think this came with three screws and four wing nuts. I determined that I need number 10-24. That was the size I needed. So I grabbed some wing nuts and I grabbed some screws and I'll just keep them in this bag of extra cell phone parts. This is where I typically store extra mounts. I'll put the screws, I have an extra cap for this. I just store them all together. You will need a tape measure. You will need probably a Sharpie or some type of marker and then a cutting device. Now you can use a hacksaw. They sell them at the dollar store. I happen to have this. It's a, I, I don't even know what it's called, but you open it up and that shoot, super sharp razory thingy and this ratchet system cuts right through. I mean, it's crazy. It cuts right through your PVC. I happen to have this. But if you don't, hacksaw, regular saw, you can get a miter box saw. You just need to be able to cut clean lines through your PVC. And mine aren't even necessarily that straight, but you need a cutting device. Now, I'm going to turn you around and I'm going to show you, or I'm just going to lean you down. I'm going to show you all the pieces I cut and what sizes and what changes I made to the original that I found, the original measurements. Um, and then we'll sh we'll put it together. All right, so give me a second. Okay, 
here's all the cuts. Oh, and just so you know, if you see these, they look a little pink. These come with writing all over it, like red lettering and paint, uh, red and black. I just took nail polish remover and got it off, so it just stained it a little bit. I don't care. The other thing is, it's very staticky, so if you're like me and have cats, I just accept that there's gonna be cat fur stuck to it. Now, here's the cuts that need to be made. And then the cuts that I also made. So you need, for the base, you're gonna need two pipes that are 11 inches long. And then you're gonna need two that are 10 inches. Now, these are pretty interchangeable as far as I'm concerned. And what they are is your base. And I'll show you how that goes and how I'm choosing to put mine together. Then I cut a piece because this is what one of the, the um, directions told me for 13 inches. This is how tall it's going to be and how far away from your work surface. 13 inches. Then I had enough left over. I cut a piece that's 20 inches because I like mine a little further away from my work surface. And I still have a fairly large piece le oh, sorry, left over. I've got a 36 inch piece, so a yard left of that 10 foot pole. Ah! Well, that's gonna be a blooper. 10 foot pole. Um, uh, by the way, that's the reason I'm making this because my camera keeps tipping. 10 foot pole, I have a 36 inch piece left. I'm not gonna mess with this right now. I wanna use it for a while. Maybe I'll want a piece longer than 20 inches for the vertical height. Maybe I'll want one less than 13 vertical. I'm just gonna keep this piece off to the side or maybe I don't need it at all. And then it told me to cut a three inch piece and that's how far away from the base your camera is gonna attach. And then I cut a six inch piece because I I want mine further out. But this is something you're gonna have to kind of play with in your own setup and in your own space. And then the other thing I did, like I said, is I drilled a hole through the middle of this um, T. And I literally just eyeballed it. And you're gonna stick your screw down in the center and out this side, put your mount and then your wing nut. And I did only need two of these. I bought three because I wanted, in case I made a mistake, drilling I wanted to have an extra and they were so cheap so I will put this piece in my extra oh guys I'm gonna knock this over again in my extra piece bag that I just keep with all my electronics parts and that all goes together so that is it this is what it's going to look like when you attach your cell phone mount. This is just a wing nut. You could use a hex nut. You can use any screw here you want. I just thought for my needs, a wing nut is going to be easier to get my hand in here, tighten it down, untighten it. But honestly, it's going to depend. Oh, now I need a screwdriver. I, I loosened it up. Um, but it's going to depend on how much distance you have between your, where this screws on and the bottom of your mount. On this one here, you don't have any distance. That screw is going to sit right up against your phone. So in this situation, what I would do is get a, a hex nut because you're going to need to put your screw through that hole here, this through... here and get a wrench up in there somehow to attach it because you're going to want this flush so it doesn't scratch up your phone. So ideally, this is what I like. I will put a link below to my Amazon store and that will be under the electronics storefront of this exact model of cell phone holder. I love this for my tripod. I love it for um, this project here. It just works really well. But if you can't afford it or that's not what you have, you just make it work, you know? And I'm also keeping this bag so I know personally what size screws I need if I want to make another one of these. That's just me though. Now we're going to put it together. 
I'm gonna change our direction again and I'm gonna show you how this goes together in like two seconds. All right, everybody has been cut, like I said. These are all of our pieces. Now, we're gonna start here. Get that out of the way. Get this out of the way. We're gonna start here with our 10 inch and 11 inch pieces. So, if you want, you can do the 10 inches here. That's going to determine how wide it is. And 11 inches here will tell you how much space you have. I'm going the other direction. Because I, I just want a little more vertical width. So, you take the T that you did not cut. And you see here, let me just make sure I've got the right sizes. Yep, the 11 inches. And I just connected them together. You just push them. When you want it out, it's a little tough, but it comes apart. Now, if you want to make this permanent, you could glue these in. I don't want to because I don't think that's going to be necessity, but you can use E6000 or get pipe glue and glue them together. So that's our middle piece right there. Now, let me move my laptop real quick. We have two elbows. Right, so one elbow is gonna go here on that side and here on this side. Now, another question I fear I feel coming, can I paint this? I have no idea if you can paint PVC, just so you know. So right now I have my base. I'm 11 inches wide here. So I'm gonna take my two 10 inch pieces and I'm gonna go here, right? And one cap goes on the end. And what that does is it makes this even. If you don't have the cap, it's going to tilt forward. I mean, you can make it work, but I would just say get the caps. But that's what it looks like on this side. Then we're going to come over here and take this 10 inch piece and stick it in that hole. Right? And put our cap here. way now you'll you know you gotta kind of push your things because everything is a little squishy like right now it's not perfectly flat but I'm not too concerned just yet now for the for the arm I either have my 13 inch height or my 20 inch I'm gonna put the 13 on just to show you because I think it'll be easier to record but that's probably not what I'm gonna use so you put that up here Right? Now, we have one more elbow. The elbow goes here. Now, how far out do I want my camera? I'm gonna go with what the, what the um, directions originally said. Put my three inch there. And then look, I have my mount with my phone on it. With my phone mount. Right there. And guys, that's it. It's put together. I'll show you completely what it looks like. And here we go, guys. This is it, the finished product. My cell phone will sit right in here, being supported by that. It's pretty good. Here's our legs. They can go wider or shorter. Like what I said, this can be totally customizable. And this here is gonna support it so it doesn't tip forward on you. I know, isn't that crazy? And that's it. Less than $10, cut a few cuts of PVC and five minutes to put together. All right, I hope you enjoy.